I'm just gonna revive it right now. Drop the fire. Spell harm to heal myself. And that is a plus 12 ruby life pools. Is that a two chest? All right. Nice, great, that's exactly what I wanted. Yo, what's going on everybody, this is Mystical. My lights turned off, so I apologize. But this is a plus 12 Ruby Life Pools. We absolutely crush it, we two chest it, so that's amazing. We did Fist Weave as well, a lot of damage. Top damage, Fire Axe Trinket, we got Blackout Kick, and we're Spinning Crane Kick, and Rising Sun Kick as a top damage. Again, just, I use Fire Axe off cooldown, I use Blackout Kick with Rising Sun Kicks just to get the reset on it. Just do as much damage as you can, essentially. As far as healing goes, Shadow's Gift, Ancient Teachings, and Gustamus are my top three healing spells. I feel like that's pretty standard. I don't know. Maybe I cast a little too much with Shadow's Gift, but Ancient Teachings is up there too as well. And these are my talents. Every single Keystone I Fist Weave, I do not change these. So that is it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. I have a question for all of you. What is a second trinket that you use as a Mistweaver in Mythic Plus? Because I have the Tome of Unstable Power. I feel like it's bad. I, maybe I'm crazy. This is a plus 12 Ruby Life Pools. Fortified. Bursting. Storming. Pretty sure. It's a pretty big pole. It's going to cocoon here because. Okay. I mean, we're really. Tectonic slam. Don't. Don't stand in the stuff on the ground. Okay. Sweep everything. Look at my damage. Oh my God. I'm doing 250k DPS. Is that me? Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Anyway, what, uh, what trinket are we running? All right. Don't. Don't keep secrets from me. Okay. Because. Oh. Because, uh. I just feel like the unstable power trinket's bad, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't proc a lot. Proc a lot. I was thinking about getting the... Um, I have two booleans this week, right? We have two booleans. Uh, we're going to revival this. Uh, we're going to defuse magic this one. Shaylin's gift this one. And I was going to get the Beth Bethawas... I don't know the name of it. It starts with a B. It's the big fire one from the Firebird in uh in the raid this week so uh let me know what uh what dungeon or <laughs> what trinket you people you you run all right help your brother out um but yeah that was that pull was pretty big huh didn't really do much i just you just avoid the the brown circle which is the titanic slam i think that's what it's called and then kick the shield and like this shield or whatever you could rob it kick it sweep it as long as you have a few aoe stuns we have chaos silver from the demon hunter and we have the leg sweep from the mist weaver and then we have Sh shadow fury if this is a demo lock it is a demo lock so destro locks also have infernal stun which is off stun here uh which is pretty cool but he's obviously not destro and it is fort week so don't be afraid to really use your cooldowns during fort week um i don't know what we're doing here i don't know if we're skipping this no we're not we're getting some whelplings though. I'm gonna fork through here just because I'm I'm honestly just a little scared. Just just a little bit. Dodge just red swirls on the ground. This will kill you. He also does a charge. I I don't know if he could charge you if you're LOS. It's a good question. I don't know. Maybe next time I see charge, I'll uh I'll, I'll take one for the team. I'll kick this. Steel barrage again. Uh, just avoid the red swirls on the ground. Okay, he did not. Okay, red. Just don't stand in front of him. It will one-shot you. It absolutely will one-shot you. And I want you to know it's always a red pally. No matter what mechanic it is, no matter what boss, no matter what affix is, it is always a red pally. Every time. <laughs> Every. I think I had a dungeon the other day that, like, I had two red pallies and, like, dodges. They, no bubble was pressed ever. But I hope everyone's having a great day, by the way. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Hopefully we time this key. Um... The hardest part about this dungeon is I think the dragons after this first boss are probably the most painful part of this dungeon. I could be wrong. Very well could be wrong. I don't know if there's any tricks to it. I don't think there are. I think you just got to brute force it, heal through it, dispel it as much as you can, but we'll get there when we get there. Let's worry about this guy right now. I can Todd soon. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Fantastic. He can't kill me, right? You're welcome for science right there. That was for science, 100%. All right, we should be good on mana. It's not 
it's not tyrannical weak, so this guy shouldn't hurt too much. I think we did this on 11 last week, tyrannical, so not nothing too crazy. You know, try, don't, just avoid the swirls. There's a lot of swirls you need to avoid. A lot of swirls. Um, chill storm, you want to bring this out. I usually diffuse magic here, and then you just run away. And then there's going to be some AoE damage. Try to line up a Shaylin's Gift right when the burst goes off. Boom, like that. You're good. Awakened Whelps. So you want to kill the Whelps and get through the shield on the boss. Good Darkness here. I just Fire Rack, and you can sweep the Whelps and then just get through the shield on the boss. And you should be pretty good. Kick this, and you're fine. Just crank damage. It's just AoE damage. Nothing insane. Again, I'm non-tyrannical. It's it doesn't hurt too much. I'll dispel the slow, avoid the swirls, of course. Manatee here. Chill storm is on the warlock. It looks like he can get out of the gate out of there. He does wall. I'm gonna dampen harm here. Do a Shaylin's gift right now. Boom, perfect. And then yeah, you could revival here if you want to recover. That's fine too. Completely up to whatever you're comfortable with. It's also a good time to press Chigi. So I could probably. I could probably hold off on chi just to show like what you can do with it. It just, it just the shield from chi just absorbs uh, the damage. But this is AoE damage, right? So let's chi now. Everyone gets the Chi Cocoon. And then we just crank damage, do a Chi Burst here. Chi Wave for damage, and then spin to win. Blackout Kick, we should be able to get it. Avoid Swirls, good. Spell the, uh, the debuff. The debuff is just a slow, don't freak out. But obviously, you don't want your tank, you know. Yeah, no. Shaylin's gift here. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Just get that timing down. Look at your DBM. Look at your big wigs. I use big wigs. I use big wigs, which I, you know, I, I kind of prefer over DBM. I don't know. I use DBM for the longest time, but big wigs kind of has my heart now. There's like so much. I don't know. They're like pretty much the same, but I kind of like it a lot. So that's the boss. Again, nothing too crazy. Just make sure, just, just do the mechanics right, right? I'm just gonna take a peek at my damage from like that fight. Let me just see. Like that trinket just didn't. That trink, that second trinket I used just doesn't. Uh, wait, Zen Pulse was stopping. All right, so this is a, anyway. This is the hardest part of the dungeon right here. Storm Breath just dodge the frontal. Uh, it can catch you. Like, what's the word for it? Like, it's hard to notice the first as soon as you pull. I'm gonna dispel this. And we're going to just hopefully crank here. These Dispels do AoE damage. Dodge this Shaylin's Gift here. As long as no one gets hit by the Breath, we should be okay. Yeah. Now, the good thing about this Breath... I mean, there's nothing really good about it. But if you get a debuff from the Dragon, you can actually Diffuse Magic it. So, Storm Breath here. Okay. This is fine. Seven Pulse here. I could also Fire Rack it if I really wanted to. Okay. I could Diffuse Magic here. Cocoon. Dispel. Shaylin's Gift here. Boom. Good. All right. Let's not have those debuffs go out again. Maybe I might have dispelled a little too early. Oh, what's going on here? Oof. Good lay, I want to say, from the uh, rep alley there. Good. Yeah. I, I hate that. I hate this dragon. I've never seen this get pulled. So. Okay. Uh, we're running. Uh, what Are we, are we going to kill it or not? Okay. All right. I guess we're wiping. Huh, maybe I pulled that? I don't know, I'll have to look back. It might have been me. I, I don't think I've ever pulled that, though, even by accident. So, maybe we got too close with the dragon being here? That eh, maybe my fault. I don't know. Someone's fault. Not really, nothing too crazy. Hopefully we don't lose too much time with that. But, uh, let's just spin the win here, right? Let's just chi -G. This will knock people up in the air, so you kind of want to do it to interrupt some of the casting. Uh, the flame dance is one of, an example of that. I'm also going to fire it here just because we just want to do damage. Like, that's literally it. Shaylin's Gift here. Spin to win. Cocoon this because I think it's my mage. Meld this. Big heal. Good. Good. Nice. Wrap this. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Todd this. Good. Revival everything. And you want to keep running. Hopefully, we keep running. We got danced upon. It looks like, uh, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Maybe got hit by mechanics or something.
flame dance. I don't know. That's alright though. We'll get there. This is the hardest part. If we could just not wipe completely like halfway through a pool or something, we should be okay, I feel like. I mean maybe I'm maybe I'm just insane, but I feel like this is just the hardest part of the dungeon. So Alright, we got a bolt on the mage. I'll throw an envelope mist on the mage. Throw an envelope mist here. I have 20 stacks of manatee. Good wall from the warlock. We do love that. We do love that. I we we love DPS that press buttons here. Alright. If you're pressing buttons, you're my favorite. Can I just know that? Shaylin's gift here. I feel like I can just I don't have to stack this on anybody. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Let's get out of here. Manatee. This is a pretty easy pull right here, so good time just manatee. And just smash and recover and hopefully we should be okay. I, we've had one unfortunate wipe, which was just that one ad getting pulled. But so far, I mean, not bad. Hopefully the dragon doesn't drop down out of nowhere. No? Good. GG here. I also have a spinning crank or a uh, leg sweep. And we're going to spin to win. Throw an envelope mist here. Throw an envelope mist here. Throw a vivify out. Yeah. And we can recover by just extending those, those hots. With the uh, Rising Sun Kick, with Rising Mist. Perfect. Honestly. Yeah, th this week it doesn't feel too bad. I'll kick this. Todd that. Yeah, it doesn't feel too bad this week. Bursting is, is okay, but with Revival, and if you have a Shadow Priest on your team, like, you should be okay, right? Like, they can ball on me. I'll defuse Magic this. Should be okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Waiting for the Dragon to go away. I'm going to drink real quick. And then this is the last hardish pull of the dungeon. I mean, there are a few other mobs after the second boss, but for the most part, I mean, maybe it's for different for other people. I just hate this part of the dungeon. I'll fire rock here, though. We're going to crank damage right now. I'll cheat you, too, because why not? Meld here. Any of the damage on me? Spinning, enveloping, misting, sweeping everything. Shaylun's gift here as well. Should be okay. I still have a little bit of shield up from that. I'll kick that. Jade Fire Stomp. Still getting used to calling it Jade Fire Stomp and not like uh, Fade Line Stomp. Bolt on me. This might hurt a little bit, but it shouldn't hurt too much. Cocoon the tank because I kind of don't. I'm kind of... Oh, okay. Revival here. Bolt on me. I might die here. Maybe not though. Port Brew. Manatee. Drop everything. I mean, <sighs> we're just dying, man. We are just freaking dying. GG. I feel like I'm healing so much too, but maybe it's, I don't know. Well, we're doing pretty good on trash and bosses and all that, so let's just keep with it. The bosses in this place are super easy, like on, on non-tyrannical weeks, pretty good. So this boss is going to spawn an ad. They're gonna, it's going to start by doing some AOE damage that you can't kick. You want to bait the boulders away. Okay, and now we can kick this one, so I'm going to kick that one. I'm going to Shaylin's Gift here, and hopefully we can get a kill on it. Good. Good, and then when you kill it, it's gonna explode, kind of like the ads, and then you just do that over and over again. The most important thing, in my opinion, for this boss fight is the boulders, just bait them to the side. Try your best to make it so you cannot, I'm gonna cocoon the tank, where you don't have a boulder like in your path. You know what I mean? And then I think this ad gets spawned on players, so try to stack it up with the boss. That way, at least when you're doing damage, you can cleave it, and you should be, I mean, you should be fine, I would say. This one's taking kind of a while to kill. I could Todd it though. Todd, good. Manatee here. Should probably only have to do that one more time. Good. The boulder is just again just out of the way. That's that's the most important thing. 
Stack up on the tank when the ads are going to get spawned. Good. Good. Perfect. I mean, I'm not going to lie. The boss might have less health than the freaking ad. So I'm going to Shaylin's gift this AOE and then let's just kill this. I'll, kill, I'll kick this. Good. Good. Fantastic. That boss took a minute and a half. Like, if you have a team, it looks like this group just does really good damage. So if you have a group that does damage, which you probably do, right? I'm sure most of you have like a main team or something. You don't have to pug <laughs> like some of us. Uh, then you should be fine. Should be fine. It's a pretty straightforward, boss. I'm a sweep here. Um, this trash hurts, but you have breathing room between like the big damage. So you have time to recover. You just have to heal through a, you know, the AOE damage pretty much. So we got Thunderclap here. Nothing we can do about that. Can we wrap it? I, I wonder actually, cause I have like minus 10% ace. I definitely can. I definitely can. Shaylin's gift here. This is AOE damage on the lightning storm. Should be okay. I would like another health stone though. Um, would be kind of nice. Um, more health stones, please. Hopefully. Yeah. You trying to use those health stones efficiently. It's, it's in the cooldown in itself, right? Always. I try to, I don't try to overlap it with other cooldowns except for that was a little late. Um, except for Fort Brew, right? Cause Fort Brew gives you more health. Health stone is heals you based off of how much health you have. So the health stone heals for more. Um, that's the only cooldown I try to, I, not try to, I will overlap it with. Um, we should probably get a kick on this thing. Good. Fire rack here. Lightning storm hurts again, but if you can heal through it, you have a little time to recover. Got to kick that. Sweep what I can. Not much, but next lightning storm, I will try to, I'll probably just defuse magic here, right? Kick that. I'm really hoping that we use our defensives. Right? That'd be kind of nice. He's going to spawn adds. Again, nothing crazy. I'll defuse magic here. Shailun's gift, again, is perfect for this, um, for this mechanic. And then as long as we kick, we should be good. Perfect. I mean, yeah, I couldn't ask for any better. I do need to drink, though. I'm going to throw some hots here. I'm going to drink super quick. And then we should be all right. This pull is pretty annoying. You want to, I kind of just target the main fella right here, the high channel, whatever his name is. He's going to channel this lightning storm. I really good time to use your Chiji. And I use expel harm as well. And then Shailun's gift. I would like to use my Shailun's gift. Hopefully if it has, has enough stacks for the next lightning storm, but he is going to spawn some ads. I don't actually have a defensive for myself. I do have Shailun's gift. I'm oh, sorry. I do have, uh, you want to kick the shock blast, by the way. I do have fire rack. So I don't kick that. So I will try my best. I'm going to cocoon the tank. Shailun's gift here. I'll fire rack as well. And then we should be good. Dispel. Enveloping mist here. Dispel this. I'm going to go for a mini Shailun's gift here. It's not the biggest, but it should get the job done. Got to get through the shield here. If you don't get through the shield, I'm pretty sure I kick that. I'm pretty sure you wipe. I'm 99% sure if you get through. Um, Shailun's gift here, seven stacker. As long as the storming doesn't knock it, good. And I think we kicked this and Todd. Oh, fantastic. All right, let's save our manatee for the boss fight. And I'm gonna drink. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, I thought we pulled. Oh, did he just like, that guy just one tap that? Oh, they're, they're Blood Elf. Okay, so these ads have, uh, they have shields. Uh, but you can Blood Elf and purge them. All right, so obviously dispel this. That's a healer mechanic, just dispel it. And then don't get hit by the fire. I mean, it's a dragon breathing fire. Interrupt, the interrupt shouldn't impact us because we don't really cast anything. So, Winds of Change will draw, make the fire get moved. So I'm gonna just Shailen's Gift here. Dispel this, good. Whenever the dragon touches down, touches down, oh my God. Whenever the dragon lands, 
you want to make sure that you hit it whenever like as just as often as you can all the lights in my room just went off so it's gonna look a little weird <laughs> dispel this good good i'm gonna cocoon the mage because i don't know what damage he's taking i'm gonna fire at trinket here and just kind of just crank yeah this is good dampen harm here as well storm slash dispel get out of the fire manatee here uh the fire isn't in our way so we're kind of just we're just able to hit the boss freely this is awkward because he's gonna fly a little bit uh good, good i don't mind that bubble i don't mind that um shaylin's gift here dispel good if you ever find yourself in a situation where you can't dispel that you could also revival it so i don't know if it's like i don't know afflicted week or whatever and you can't dispel it you can always revival it i'm just gonna revival right now drop the fire Spell harm to heal myself. And that is a plus 12 ruby life pools. Is that a two chest? All right. Good job, guys. Two chests of that, that 12, which is amazing. Nice. Great. That's exactly what I wanted.